I am Lamont at Large. Today, I am at the Jefferson Barracks Cemetery here in St. Louis, Missouri, here to visit the grave of Samuel Lee McDonald, the man who was executed by the state of Missouri for the crime of murder. On the evening of May 16, 1981, Robert Jordan, an off-duty St. Louis County police officer, accompanied by his 11-year-old daughter, went to the Forest Package Liquor Store to purchase snacks for the weekend. After making their purchases, Officer Jordan and his daughter started out of the store. Samuel Lee McDonald and a woman named Jacqueline Blue had been driving around that evening and stopped their car a short distance from the liquor store. McDonald got out of the car and was standing on the corner near the store when Officer Jordan and his daughter emerged with their groceries. McDonald drew a pistol and accosted Officer Jordan, robbing him, firing one or more shots in the process. One of the shots wounded Jordan in his chest and he fell to his knees. Officer Jordan handed McDonald his wallet, which contained his police officer's badge. McDonald took the wallet and began to turn away when he returned and shot Officer Jordan once again in the chest. As McDonald attempted to flee, Officer Jordan drew his service revolver and fired a number of shots, striking McDonald three times. Officer Jordan stumbled back into the store, where he died a short time later. McDonald crawled back to the car and instructed Blue to drive him to a hospital. He later changed his mind and went to a friend's house, but no one was there. McDonald stuffed his shirt into a sewer drain and then instructed Blue to take him to the hospital once again. Police later searched Blue's car and found Officer Jordan's wallet and badge in the rear seat. Police also found the revolver McDonald used in the killing in the trunk along with the rest of his clothing. Police were also able to retrieve the shirt from the sewer drain. Rochelle Jordan and two other eyewitnesses testified at trial that McDonald was the individual who had shot and killed Officer Jordan. On February 24, 1982, McDonald was convicted of capital murder and sentenced to death. Payable on death. Not sure what happened to this man. His life started out very good, joining the military, a Vietnam vet. But who knows uh, what horrors he might have faced in Vietnam. Maybe it warped his mind. Who knows? And I can see somebody has come here to darken the stone because you see a lot of stones such as this one. Most stones, the uh, lettering is not dark, but uh, somebody came back here. So, Anyways, his sentence has been served. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Lamont at large. Live, but not live, but still alive by the grace of God. Be good, everybody. I'll catch up with you later. Peace out.